they'll run up on me. You heard the mother? They looking, they looking for me to, for me to be there for them, like. Yeah, on a, on a, on, a, on another level. On yeah, level. like yo, like, like yo, I know you, can, I know you get them for this number. I know you could. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, don't get me wrong, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm trying to show them, like, look, I think getting it at that number is a lot of money too. <laughs> but let me show you how we can use that number, meaning drugs or whatever. We are gonna use that as a metaphor. Right. For let's get in this building space. Right. And let's flip that. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how we're going to get some revenue out of that. Right. We're going to use that as a plate, a pound. Boom, bang. And we're going to flip this. We're going to get this little building space and we're going to get some paper in it. Right. My nigga, you know what I mean? Like on some G shit. That's what's up. No, that's what's up. That's real rap. I just like, I just like. Because we like chopping it up with the Chop Shop yeah. fucking yes, TV. Sir. Now, here. Yeah. is this book right here Ebony Strowman is the author right Critical Condition this is Ebony Strowman right here the author of Critical Condition and actually she had another book called The Game Chose Me yeah The Game Chose Me wow game two books me. three three the three books the first one yeah, whoa let's give it up let's give it up Miss Ebony Strowman how are you doing today I'm doing great and yourself I'm alright see Troy right there that's, right, that's Troy's arm right there you see he stepped back for a minute <laughs> He's in a building. Yeah, Troy's the reason why Ebony's here. Definitely. You understand what I mean? Yeah. My man Troy in the building. Minute. Minute. You, get, you get the whole minute, my nigga. You my nigga. Get the real shit, right? Like, 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 for real. The reason I'm pushing this shit right here so much, man, because, like, I've seen her. Like, like this is the this is the young kid I'm talking about, like, like she seen me, like, she probably come here and be like, yo, big brother, whatever. Like, if she don't, I'm going to say little sister, like. Yeah. So, so for me to see that, like this Baisley product right here, she did it, and when you look at the back, it's her publishing. Like, so that's like, she ain't say like, let me get some more consignment. <laughs> she ain't say like, yo, yo, can I hold something? Yeah. She ain't say yo. She took the stash. She said, up. man, look, man, <laughs> yo, like she got her own seven grams and yeah. she take it to the top. That's it. Fuck the work you talking about. This book work right here. I'm gonna read this. Yeah. But. Let's talk about this book. Yeah, definitely. Let's get into it. This is my third book. You mm -hmm. know, this is my baby. I put my passion into all the books that I do. Just mm -hmm. everything that I do, period, because I'm a passionate person like that. Mm -hmm. So this book is a fiction book, but a lot of people, they read it and they'll come up to me and they'll ask, is this a true story? Did this really happen? Because when I write, I make sure I write really authentic. So therefore, when people read my books, they're easily able to identify with the characters so they feel like they're in it and they're working with the characters. So it's just like, you know, that's the question that I get and I'm happy every time I get it because it makes me, you know, feel like my readers are really in identifying what I'm writing. So it feels good. Okay, so you've been getting good good reviews on all your books. Oh, I mean, I've apparently been, she has three books. Yeah, I've been getting. She's not gonna be t wasting her time on it. It's just like, all right, this isn't going nowhere. But obviously, she's doing well by herself and. Troy was just talking about your own publishing. That's, that's yeah, that's my publishing company. That's big. Yeah. Your own publishing company. Yeah. So anybody who got books, you might want to holler at them. Man. Yeah, definitely. All the contact information, you can go on my Facebook page, Facebook slash Ebony Stroman. Okay. You can go on Twitter slash Ebon, say that's spelled E B A N. We're going to have Sergeant Wolf get on that because he, cause he normally be get, getting on the chat book because we normally put your names up here on the chat yeah, board and get it all in there so, so they can get the proper way of getting in contact with you. Of course. And um, how can they purchase your book? You can go to Amazon.com and you can purchase it. You can also go into your local bookstore and purchase the book. If the book is not available at your local bookstore, you just go in there and ask them for it. And they will request it for you if they don't have it there. And before you know it, it'll be there. But the best way, if you're on the internet, just go to Amazon. Or you can just hit me up at any of my social network outlets. And, you know, I'll be more than happy to assist you. Okay, okay. That's a big business right here. Own publishing a, a book. 
I have to read this book. <laughs> and you have to read this book. Yeah, you have to read. You have to get this book and read it. I want y'all to do a, like need a get report and tell us about yeah, it. And y'all gotta look people, out man, for other read. stuff. Wait till y'all get that home record yeah. white. Oh, go check out the sneak peek on the notes on my Facebook. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be crazy. I know. Check I, that yeah, out. Um, I, I, I <laughs> that's gonna be. Yeah, that's gonna be the crazy little lifetime joint right there. You know what I mean? Somebody's gonna be whipped out heavy. <laughs> I don't know, do the chick. Yeah. Ebony Strongman, Critical Condition. Get this book. We're gonna have this up there during the show, course of the show. You have, I mean, I know you have probably like a million books already written out that you're ready to put out there. Yeah, it's a long process. Long. <laughs> Usually it takes me about a year mm -hmm. to complete a book. Wow. But I put, that's a, I put a lot of work into it. I pay very close attention to detail, you know what I'm saying? I want you to feel like you're getting your money's worth. Even the font, I make sure it's a nice size there for it won't hurt your eyes. When you right. read it, I don't know if you can see No, no, yeah, no, the font is crazy. Yeah, it's a nice size. It's not too big. Nice size. It's not too small. It just gives you exactly what you need. And the story, so many people told me, oh, God, I missed my stop on the train. You know, this happened, that happened. Those are stories I like, too. So yeah. how, long, how long have you been yeah, writing? I've been writing since 2003. My first book, The Hood, was released in 2004. Okay. Yeah. And that was just, of course, great reviews. Oh, The Hood people love that. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm still, to this day, I get asked for a part two, but I'm going to uh, do the covers over mm -hmm. and re-release part one and part two, mm -hmm. so you can look out for that. Oh, and oh, um, yeah. the game shows me. People who know me from that, they love it. And this is the third title, Critical Condition. You can look out for Home Record White, along with some other titles I have coming up um, in the future. And when you get a book from me, just know that you are getting your money's worth. You're going to have a story that's entertaining, enlightening. And, you know, you're just going to be asking when's the movie coming out. <laughs> that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's what's up. I mean, that, that, is that in the plans? A movie? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely, you know, looking into that. I'm going to start a production company. And you know, we'll take things from there, just everything in time. Okay, that's big right now for a movie. Yeah, and of course, course. Troy's gonna help with that. We know that. Troy's oh, Troy is in the building. Troy's, Troy's in the building, right? Yes. You know what I mean? Y'all know yes. Troy is, you gonna know who he is. Come on, yo, 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 Troy, do that again, do that again, do that again. See, there you go. Troy's in the building. He's here, he's here. You know what I mean? So, we're gonna get all this together. You know what I mean? Because this is really amazing that you, that you have your own publishing yeah, company. Yeah, but the book, that, it she doesn't need no one. Yeah. How did you start that up? Like, Well, I did a lot of research, you know what I'm saying? Like, 2004 is when I actually put the first book out and when I came out and did the publishing company. I basically, like I said, read books on publishing. I asked a lot of questions a lot of times until I got on people's nerves. But I was on a mission, I had a goal, I knew exactly what I wanted to do and I wasn't going to stop until I get, got there. So I found out, you know, it might seem so simple at first, but when you're doing it and you're doing it on your own, it's a big deal to find out how do you go about getting the ISBN number. How do you get a number from the Library of Congress? How do you obtain these things? Where do you get the books printed? How do you get a graphic designer? You're going to need some place for fan mail to come, so you have to go to get a P.O. box. And that's not always a simple thing. Sometimes there's a wait list. Right. And if there's a wait list for a P.O. box, your book can't come out because guess what? You can't put the contact information on the back of the book mm -hmm. or inside the book. So simple little things like that can hold you up without you even realizing it. Wow. So it's just, you know, just like any other business, whatever kind of business it is, it's a lot of hard work and you got to do it from the ground up. Right. So how long did it take you to get everything, you know, how you needed it? It took me maybe about, um, you know, maybe six months after I finished researching everything, waiting for the P.O. box, finding the graphic designers, going around to printers getting quotes so I could get the best quality, best quality and the right. best price mm -hmm. for the book. And then once that happened, I also had to find distributors and stores that would be willing to carry the books. And, you know, you have to work out deals with them. And sometimes people want to play those money games, but you got to pull out the B card. Mm -hmm. And you just got to do what you got to do, like anything else. So you take some L's, but that's what anything, as long as you keep going, you're, you're reached the top, you just got to keep climbing. That's big. That's yeah. big. Ebony Strowman in the building, we appreciate you. Baby. Thank you.
times never last, but tough people do. The more you show love, the more hate surrounds you every day. I know who I am, that's excellence. Therefore, this is not an act, but a habit. And the habit keeps me going, that's my passion. Most of these people live their life just asking why. I ask why not, and I don't try. I open up my heart and my mind so success can walk in. That means that I stay on my grind. I'm going hard with my driver's seat and recline. Cause he who hesitates is always lost And man, I was taught that it comes to be the boss The best way out is to always go through it I ain't waiting for no ship to come in I'm swimming to it Spray paint on my hand From tagging all these beats I am who I am and who I am is who I be Yeah, but I do this for y'all So I can tag my name on hip-hop's wall Like S-G-T-W-A-R I got that wow style Flow, break dance ball